the print at four. What's my feeling? I'll tell you what, I'm conflicted. Sometimes I feel like this, sometimes I feel like this. What is the meaning? Sometimes I feel like, oh, we are a startup. We are still a startup, right? We are only four. Other times I think, oh, we've been around four years. It's like we've been around forever. In fact, six months into starting the print, I had said nobody will use the expression startup for us because we've been there. Now, at the same time, when you have a new organization growing, new things happen all the time. New colleagues come in, new ideas come in, new products come in, new readers, viewers, subscribers come in. And we are so grateful to all of them because one thing we have not seen decline over these four years for the print is growth. One is growth and second is the trust of our viewers and readers. That has been so fantastic. Thank you very much for it. That is what keeps us going all the time. When we started the print, we were less than 2,000 people working out of this office on Bahadur Shah Zafar Mark in New Delhi. Today, we are close to 100 people out of which about 80 people are journalists and that is significant growth for any media organization. In these four years, we have covered thousands and thousands of stories and they are all on our websites. You, our readers, have contributed to the growth of The Print by reading them. I'm sure a lot of you wonder why a website is called The Print when it doesn't quite print anything. That's because at The Print, our core, our essence is to bring the substance, the sanctity of print journalism along with the reach of digital. In fact, the initial founding team of The Print, most of the founding members, several of our reporters, even now, are from a print background. As we turn four and we look back, we realize how that has been our biggest strength as well as our biggest challenge. Strength because these reporters, because these editors bring with them the rigor of print journalism and challenge because it has meant adapting them into this new format which is digital, which requires multimedia, where you tell stories not just through text but also through visuals, through videos. The print's opinion section was conceived as this big tent of ideas and ideologies. In the last four years, it has evolved into one of the most formidable sections at the print. We're a small team of five people. There's myself, there's Anurag Chaube, there's Neera Majumdar, there's Prashant Dikshit and Shrinjoy Day. Together, the five of us make magic happen. The Prince weekly columnists are domain experts and uh, scholars and they write well-researched, informed, analytical articles every week on various subjects. But on the other hand, we also have something called POV, which is our quick hot takes by young writers on social and cultural developments of the week. We also have the book section, which is called Page Turner. It's one of our most well-read sections under the opinion team. There's Go to Pakistan, which is our daily feature on what's buzzing, what's viraling in Pakistan, a country that all of us have an opinion on, but know very little about. Many things have happened in these four years, but most importantly, we've seen one and a half years of the pandemic. What happened? We are a we are a gregarious people. Journalists are gregarious. We love to work in a group, in an office. I myself, I love to work with people. I walk around the newsroom all day. I cannot think on my backside. I have to think on my feet. And with people doing adda, some chat here and there. So the first round, the first wave of the pandemic sent us all home. And it also, in fact, was a lesson personally for me to become more digital in my own mind and my own thinking. It has been a huge challenge for us because in the beginning we did not know what shape this pandemic would take, how safe it was to send reporters uh, outside uh, of Delhi and their bases to cover the pandemic and then what kind of access they would get, would they be safe. But we started taking those calls as we got more information from the scientists and the doctors and authorities and we started sending reporters to Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra and slowly they spread out around the country. In fact, it's the last year and a half when COVID pandemic struck us that we have turned truly digital. This is when we realized the power of digital. Working from home, working remotely has meant we've had to do everything online 
everything digitally. One of our most non-digital properties, which was off the cuff, which was an on-ground event we held uh, with me in conversation with someone interesting and important with an audience who we fed wine and cheese. I don't, I don't like either, you know that. That had to go digital. Cut the clutter because we had to clear out of office. We were working from, from home for a long time. I had to learn to shoot, cut the clutter outdoors at my home with airplane noise, birds chirping. Some of you found it distracting. Some of you liked it. And I know that many of you now say I should go back to it. So occasionally I will keep doing that. All my colleagues handled it brilliantly. They went home, they worked from home. They worked harder for, from home, even harder from home than they might have from the office. Now, slowly, we are trying to bring some people back, particularly those who are doubly vaccinated with precautions. Some of our reporters got infected and tested positive in the early days of the pandemic, uh, starting from Gujarat, but they did not give up and they recovered and went back to reporting. We spent almost three months in the Northeast covering Assam and Meghalaya and Nagaland when two of my colleagues traveled across the region. Then the biggest uh, stories came during the second wave from again across the country from Kashmir to Punjab to UP and Bihar. And the man behind this camera went on a boat on the Ganges on the Ganga River and counted bodies as they were floating during the second wave in UP and Bihar. So the effort put in by the prints, reporters and editors and journalists and visual journalists has been unparalleled. And we are very, very proud of our coverage because that has also been appreciated by the readers and the kind of ground reporting we do is what makes a difference for the print. In the past year, since the pandemic began, a lot has changed. Uh, it has affected policy to politics, livelihoods to li lifestyle and there is also a huge appetite for informed, insightful, authentic information. And that's what we have tried to give at the opinion section. Most of our video properties, whether they were live discussions or other kind of videos, have been online, have been digital. It's been a big challenge to mount this website together. But the last year and a half has taught us a lot more. The experience we have gained from this assignment is that Ground reporting is what matters and ground reporting is what readers want to know because the real stories are not just in Delhi and Bombay or Bangalore, they are also in UP and Bihar and Vijayawada and you name it. We will send our reporters and we will bring you the best of Indian journalism day in and day out. We are prepared for everything because we know that one thing you, are, you will never be short of in India is news and news is not just what's playing out on my tv screen right now which is the which is the lord's test match but there will be news of all kinds breaking that interests people of india because people of india love politics they love news they love argument and they love democracy and there can be no democracy without free media and what is the print the print is our humble contribution to strengthening the free unhyphenated neither left nor right unhyphenated media in india practicing classical old-fashioned boring journalism mm -hmm.